All right, all right, what's going on, you guys? What is going on? This is the Saturday Coffee Break. Saturday Coffee Break, tuning in for another episode. Thank you very much. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button. If you already have, you know what time it is, Julian Gellis. So, this is very different uh, compared to, to all the other Saturday Coffee Breaks because I got two gentlemen right next to me, squishing me right now, trying to fit in for the camera. Um, this is Brad and this is Arjun. Say hi. Say hi, you guys. Hello. How's it going, guys? <laughs> so, so uh, the reason why they're here is today was my graduation. My graduation for my master's degree and we did it. And th these are one, only two of the guys that were here, many people that, that were here today. So we showed support and love. So um, let's get right to it, you guys. So, but first, let's have a sip of our yeah. coffee. I got to have a sip of my coffee. Cheers, boys. Oh. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Yeah. I guess <laughs> the first video with other people. Yeah, like yeah, all right. So, and uh, by the way, it's almost midnight, so we're just want to get the the Saturday coffee break. Eleven or nine p.m. Baby. Eleven or nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Dude. All right, guys. So, uh, um, the the topic of today's video, okay, as the title uh, suggests, is enjoy the moment. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll start off by what I think a, a little bit, very brief description of what I think. Uh, that means, and then we'll go to you guys and we'll kind of open up the conversation a little bit. So enjoying the moment, that means living in the present, okay? Living in the present, not not really worrying too much about the future, not worrying too much about the past, because if you, if you are stuck in the past, you're never going to move forward. But if you're stuck in the future, you're just going to get all anxious all the time, okay? So we can elaborate more on that, but I want to give these guys a chance to talk. So we'll start with Mr. Brad. So what do you think about what that means, living in the present? You know, that's a great question, Jules. And Thank you very much for having me on the show. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, de I think Arjun, Arjun and I can definitely say it's, you know, it's an honor being your first guest on your show. Fuck so, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I mean, hell yes. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So what does that mean to you? What does that mean? Well, you know something, dude, my, uh, my dad always told me this one, this one phrase, uh, if you, if you have one foot in the future mm -hmm. and you have the other foot in the past, you're taking a piss all over today. Right. You know, exactly. it's just like, mm -hmm. and it's just, for me, I can just, oh, let me put down my coffee real quick. For me, it's like, um, and I'll just speak on, especially throughout this, uh, tur these turbulent, uh, 15 months that we've just had, you know, for <laughs> yeah. me, along with Julian, albeit at different schools, I was getting, I was uh, working on my master's degree in uh, conducting. So, right. you know, my ultimate end goal is to be a conductor of right, right. choirs and everything. And of course I was living in the moment, but I, you know, as we all do when, you know, things are so good, we, we take things for granted. You right. Know? Exactly. So it's like March 7th, March 8th, I was on top of my game. Right. I was like, you know, singing with a great choir. I was, at a, you know, at a very awesome uh, regional conference. I got to meet one of my favorite composers and hear a work that, um, that was uh, pre- recording and pre-publication of the score and I was just on top of it. Mm -hmm. Little did I know that a couple of days later, you know, the entire world would turn upside down. Right. And mm -hmm. you know, that's for all of us and mm -hmm. Julian, Arjun, I think you guys can do, totally agree. It's like, yeah. what if, you know, what's going to happen? And mm -hmm. I mean, especially nowadays, we're just like, what's going to happen? I mean, yeah, it's great that the world is starting to open up ever right. so slowly. Uh -huh. But I think one thing I've learned throughout this pandemic, I mean, Aside from the, the old adage that my dad always told me, you know, one foot in the future, one foot in the past, taking a crap all over today or taking right. a piss all over today, mm -hmm. you interpret that, you know, whichever way you will. Um, but really, the one thing I've learned from this pandemic and living in the moment is give it everything you got. Right. You know, whether, sure. you know, for you, it's, you know, on your, you know, on your YouTube channel or now teaching. Now, yeah, that, teaching got, now that this guy's got his master's Hell degree yeah, and, his, uh, master's and his teaching credential. <laughs> uh -huh. Watch out, kids. <laughs> Watch out, kids. There's a new sheriff in town. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, whether it's with you and your teaching and Arj with you and your your job in a, in a lab, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. doing everything other, you like. Other professional work. Yeah. Or just yeah. for all of us, just hanging out with friends and family. It's just, you right. know, enjoy everything you've got right now. You know, pretend like, not pretend, but like. You're leaning you know, a little bit. You're, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. It's like. You know, for me, I'll just say this as a as a musician. It's like you give everything you've got when you go on stage. So that way, when you walk off that stage, you can say to yourself, it's not like, ah, oh, you know what? I think I could have done better on hitting this note or, you know, the altos could have done better in this section because they were right. a little bit flat. No, 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 no. You walk off that stage and you're like, 
Mm -hmm. Right. We got it. We did it. Cool. We, everything was clean. Yeah, there might have been a couple of mistakes, but you know what? We meant to make them. Nice, man. It's like, if I can just finish, it's like okay. another thing. It's like, you know, for performing, it doesn't matter whether it's in front of 200,000, 2,000, 200, or two. Mm -hmm. If you're not giving it your absolute best effort on stage, then you have absolutely no right to be up there. Yeah, unless yeah. you're pouring out every last drop of energy that you have. Of course, man. And, that, that, thanks. Uh, um, let's, sure. let's, let's give Arjun yeah. a chance to uh, yeah. Yeah, talk no, too. No, that's all right. Um, yeah, so where to start? So I guess like, um, just like, you know, I don't want to like risk uh, being repetitive based on like what Brad and Julian have already said, but the, I as well like think that living in the moment just literally means like, you know, living in the present, not being so hung up on both the past and the future. Mm -hmm. and, and again, like I said, that may sound like redundant at this point, mm -hmm. but I guess like I'm just speaking from personal experience, that being that I am guilty of doing both of those things. Uh -huh. Yeah, like especially like you could say like during the pandemic, I was at like a certain low point mentally where I was like doing both. I was focusing, like getting way too hung up on past mistakes or things like that, All right. as well as like being uh too hung up on the future and like hung up on the future in this case being like too i guess maybe like part of it was like the anxiety and by that i mean like the uncertainty or unknowing you know not knowing like what the future would have hold would hold mm -hmm. you know because it was a to be fair like the pandemic was definitely like a, a bit of a crisis for a lot of people right yeah mm -hmm. i was like I and mean, again not the the again the unpredictability and the uncertainty of what was going to happen next you could say that kind right. of did a number on me folks to on the future whereas right. like I, I could have definitely done better. Like, uh -huh. I could have like definitely been like preparing for myself for the present. I guess maybe it's just that, like maybe I felt, and and maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but also for others as well. Uh, maybe it's just that at the time I just felt like I didn't know like where my, you could say that at the time I didn't like know where my life was going. And like again regarding the whole planning for the future, I didn't like really know like what to plan for because I was like okay I don't know how the future's gonna end up. I don't know if this is gonna like. Be a permanent thing or this is gonna go away it's like right, right, right. Right. It, was, it was hard for me to like take in like the direction mm -hmm. so oh yeah but, yeah for me guys yeah. too uh, uh, um part of part of what it means is just like you know uh, um you know it means just all right you plan for the future of course you plan for it right but but you don't obsess over it you know what i mean because because a lot of the times i get it like i mean i'm i am so guilty of of like making up all these scenarios in my head when I'm at work, when I'm working out, when I'm doing all this shit. <laughs> I mean, I get so caught up in just these, these false scenarios, which, which have no real credibility. Like if, if, if you were to read my mind, it'd be like, what the hell are you thinking, bro? Right. So the thing is, uh, uh, um, I've, I've learned too, especially this week, right. You know what I mean? That, that it's just, you need to, uh, um, to be present with yourself, right. You know, to just, and it's, it's hard for us nowadays, of course, because we have phones and like, you know, TVs, uh, um, social media, all that stuff. We get caught up with yeah. what, with, 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 um, with what, you know, everyone else is doing instead of what we're doing. Yeah. You know? like and we need media, to focus say, on what we're doing. Social media definitely like, plays a big part in it. Like with right. social media, you know, you always have like images of other people yeah. projecting like, you know, their highlight reels. So it's mm -hmm. like, you always have like see other people around you on right. social media, like posting like pictures of them at their best. And it, I guess like it, it fucks with, with certain the younger people, like younger generations' minds, because it makes them start to think that like these people all have perfect lives just because right. of like what they're showing. Right, and like, no, right, right, no one has perfect lives, man. Yeah, exactly. No like, like, I'm gonna put another, 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 quote, another quote I've heard. I, 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 I can sum it up. I can sum it up in another another good right. quote. Mm -hmm. I can sum it up in another good quote. And I feel like everybody, including myself, can benefit from this quote as well. Mm -hmm. And that is this: the lesson to learn here for the whole social media stuff is. You can't compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. You were right, dude. It's right. like that. Of course, That's a great a fucking point. course, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, um, we're we're gonna try to keep it um, at eleven minutes. You know, because because the phone thing kind of runs out of battery. So, yeah. so right now we're at we're we're we're, we're at about uh, nine thirty. So we have about a minute and a half uh, uh, to like kind of talk about. So anything else you want to say, Brad, about about it? And that's I think I pretty much said everything I need to say, dude. Just okay. that's it. Pleasure yeah, to man. be. Yeah, man. <laughs> just, man. Just, that's it. Just yeah. that. Just keep plugging away. Press on. And mm -hmm. to this guy right here, congratulations on your graduation, man. Dude, thank mm -hmm. you, man, so much. Couldn't thank be prouder. So couldn't uh -huh. be prouder. I, I, I cheat you guys with the right hand, but the right hand is 
Yeah. Is uh, fifth with that mug. coffee. He's holding the, yeah. the yeah. coffee mug. No, but yeah, guys. So um, yeah, thanks, thanks again for you both uh, by joining me on this. Like I figured, you know, hey, I still have to do the coffee break, and you guys are here. And, and I, I really felt, I mean, I, what I wanted to do with this is allow you guys to talk because in all my coffee breaks, it's only me obviously talking, mm-hmm. but, but it's kind of like, I wanted to facilitate what you guys were <laughs> like, what you guys had to say, you know, like, uh, um, and, uh, see stuff like that, you know, try to let both of you guys talk and then me kind of pitch in a little bit, put my two cents in, but mostly you guys kind of <laughs> talk about your experience, kind of briefly sum right. it up. Appreciate so, it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys. So this this is a great episode. Hope we can do stuff like this again because I actually yeah, want to do long, like really long, almost like podcast episodes with you guys doing yeah. this shit. You know, so, uh, um, but yeah, just for now, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, th- this video was a lot longer than the last one. So um, see you guys next weekend for uh, the next Saturday Copy Break. Julian out. All right. All right.